In the last minute of the drone was flying in the rain for a good time. After that I left this drone resting to see if any of the parts get rusty or any of the circuits get broken after exposure to water. Now I was able to turn it on and I'm going to try to fly it. So as you can see after flying in the rain for a few minutes looks like nothing happened to the drone. I also was able to connect to the Wi-Fi signal of the drone so it means that Wi-Fi circuit is also working and I checked the camera, the camera was working fine as well. Anyways, let me show you what may happen to the drone after exposure to water. So now I will disassemble this drone and show you how to fix it. We will look at every part that can go bad after, for example, falling into water. I had some cases with some drones when drones would have Wi-Fi circuit going bad camera not working. So the first thing that may happen to a drone is the propellers here can get stuck. When it falls into water or flies in the rain, these parts may get stuck because dirt gets in. If there are some metal parts in there, rust may block some motor movements. The lubricants that are used to lubricate the parts may absorb water with dirt and this dirt with lubricant may affect the movement of the propellers. Before you disassemble this drone make sure you make a photo or make a note on how these propellers are mounted. Some motors rotate in one direction and some motors rotate in other directions that's why if you look at the blades of the propellers they are mounted differently. If you look at the blades here they all have some kind of an angle. For example this blade has this angle but this blade has this angle. So they are mounted in a different manner. Same here. Here it's this angle and here is the angle in reverse. Why is this happening? Uh, the motors rotate probably here and here in different direction and what the blades do they need to lift the drone up and to lift the drone up they need to send air downwards. So if this motor rotates in this direction let's say having the blades in this angle would send the air up. The air would hit this surface and will be reflected upwards. So this motor should rotate probably in this direction. So if you don't mark which propellers are mounted at which arm and you install the propellers in the wrong place the drone will not fly up, so you need to take into consideration in which direction the propellers are rotating. Let's check the theory for example. According to what I have explained, this motor should rotate in this direction, so that it pushes the air backwards. Let's check if it's true. So it should rotate this way. And yes, I can see that it's rotating this way. And probably this motor should rotate this way. And yes, we can see it's rotating this way. So this is the logic. If you forget to note down which propeller was installed in which arm. You can lose, use this logic to put the propellers back in the right place. Also usually the propellers have some marks on it. Here you can see the marks. It says B3. 
and here it says B and then this one has A3 mark and the arm has A mark on here so anyways it's better just to mark the propellers and the arms and know which propeller goes to which arm the next thing that may go wrong is the push button here so this one for example has some space in here and water could get in and drop on the switch and then if the switch inside gets rusty the contacts of the switch may not work and the drone may not turn on or stay in turned on position all the time also some drones have SD card slots in here and the SD card slot may get damaged by water as well now when you start to take apart the drone don't forget to remove the battery first and then in order to remove anything on the drone you have to disassemble the body of the drone which is usually done by removing the screws here so after you remove the screws in here the top part of the body will go off and here you will see all the circuits inside of the drone and the arms that will go off easily after you remove this top part all arms have cables that go through them up to the electric motor that's inside and uh, here for example I see that these cables are soldered to the circuit directly but other drones may have plugs and they plug into the circuit so this setup is not a very comfortable one because if you have to change the arm you'll have to solder it back and it could be a difficult operation for those who have never done that also this circuits are so small that soldering on them makes it difficult as you can damage some other contacts on the circuit if you don't know how to solder small parts let's go with the arm now let's disassemble the arm and see the electric motor inside the arms are also made of plastic parts and the body of the arm is also fixed with screws we remove the screws and we have access to the inside of the part here for example I can see one of the screws that got rusty and the rust is visible here but it's not affecting any of the components in this case and here we have the electrical motor assembly with the gears inside we see some sand here the propeller was also removed by removing the screw and I can feel the rust as well it got rusty and the mechanism is very simple and it's made of plastic parts so here you can have sand inside there's no screws just some clips here and this is the mechanism that may get blocked if you get dirt inside if you get water inside of the electric motor you may need to change the electric motor now I will remove the circuit and we'll see how cameras and other components are connected this is the button that may be affected as well and probably if you don't know how to solder back these components you may need to change all the circuits but I think if the main circuit is uh, damaged the only thing you will have to do is to buy another drone these drones are really cheap sometimes instead of fixing it it's just better to buy another one it will all depend on which component is affected to remove the circuits you just need to remove some screws as well they are all screwed to the body of the drone after removing the screws now the circuit can be removed and as you can see here we have three connections one connection here which is connected to the main circuit via some clips and can be removed and then two cameras which is on the bottom and the front camera are connected to the main circuit with this 
plugs as well. So this can be removed and if you have bad camera you can replace the cameras. Again you need to check the prices if their parts are too expensive and you're not sure if the fix will work maybe it's better to buy just another drill. To remove these cables you need to lift this plastic part it opens up and the cable is removed. Disconnecting camera cables will work the same way. Opening this clip will release the cable. And here another one. Releasing the cable. Another thing that could be affected by water are the connections to LEDs for example the LED lamps may stop working. Uh, one of the things you could do is not to unsolder these cables but just cut them and connect them here using very little insulation so that the drone can fly up later. If you put too much tape the drone may not fly up because it cannot carry too much weight and even a few grams may affect how the drone flies. To have access to the bottom camera, you have to remove the screws that keep the battery compartment in its place. So, so we remove the battery compartment and we get closer to the battery assembly and we see some screws in there. And I can see that the part that keeps in place the cameras can be removed as well. There are some clips in here and if you push them, it will release the part. Looks like it will release the part. Like this. Okay, so here we have the assembly with all cameras inside. So one camera is released. If we release this top plastic part, we get to the bottom camera as well. And releasing screws, we'll release the camera and we see that they are all rusty as well. And we release the camera here. So this is how you disassemble the drone. These are all the parts that you have to consider when you fix the drone and then just make sure you put this back again in the right order. So take pictures, mark the pieces, be careful when taking things apart. And always before doing the repairs and buying spare parts, do your investigation, decide whether it's worth repairing something or better buy a new drone.